Welcome to the new edition of Franchise Hockey Manager 10. Today is release day, and we couldn't wait. We had to take control of Montreal Canadiens. Right now, it looks like their team's going to be a bit harder to manage than I would have thought. Um, they did have uh, Corey Price on their team as well, but we all know that he's never going to play again. So we just decided to put him on unconditional waivers. And then we quickly made a trade just to see kind of how it looked. Um, it looks kind of cool. Uh, we end up trying him for a fourth so we'll kind of get into um, a little bit of what we have roster wise it looks like our best player is Slavkovsky I mean I haven't really seen him do anything in real life to suggest that he should be five star rated I think Caulfield has at least showed that he's a little bit more uh, clinical than than Slavkovsky so I think he should definitely be our, our future star for sure same thing with Suzuki. So we're probably going to end up building around these three forward as well. It does kind of suck that two of them are, are left. Uh, left uh, left wings. So maybe Slavkovsky might have to sh slot to the right. Or same thing with Caulfield. One or the other. And then Ghoulies are next player. Probably our top defenseman. Which is kind of sad. And then New Hook is probably our second best. Second best uh, center. And then you have Doc here as our right wing. Pretty much other than that, there is nothing, nothing to write home about. Other than that, everyone's three stars or less. Uh, depth chart wise, we do have Philip Massar as well, who is probably good enough to, to at least come up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we don't want to buy out his rights. So he's probably going to come up for us. At least that kind of helps in terms of that. You have Owen Beck also. He was drafted in the second round, so he he has potential as well, but he's just a one star so far at 19, which, I mean, that's not great either. Joshua Roy as well, or Hua, he's 20, also in the Q, or AHL as well, so we might want to move him up just to kind of see him for the short term as well, and send him down after. At least then it's going to make our team look a little bit better. Um, VHL as well, Konstenko. So so far it doesn't look like we have two. We made we have a little bit of of good players. We only have the one first rounder, and then we have two th two threes, and then two fours as well. Now that we got it from Colorado, we're going to look at our cap situation here. Let's do the monthly one. So we do have, it says we have 7 million in cap, but, or, yeah, 7 million in cap. But we all know that doesn't really take into effect right away. Um, we do have a decent amount of staff budget as well, so we're going to probably end up having to do that. We have around 3 million for free agents, um, for uh, cap obligations as well. Um, currently, yes, yeah, Suzuki, Caulfield, our top two earners. Um, we are probably going to have to. Slikovsky. Oh, Slikovsky's still on his rookie deal, so that's pretty good as well. So at least we have that to kind of build around. And then Matheson is our highest paying defenseman. Paying 13 million for our defense as of right now, which seems kind of low. Wyman looks like he's out indefinitely. And guess like he's pretty good but Gooley, justin baron harris yet yeah, we have no one we don't have don't have a goalie either jake allen is playing in real life for them and then matombo as well but we should probably end up getting rid of him as well uh, as you can see we didn't really have any prospects coming up for goalie which is kind of disappointing um, let's look at see the free agency. Let's see the ne kind of negotiations that we'd have to do. Um, Tom Kiddo, I remember doing that guy before, adding him to our team. Um, Brian Elliott, you know what? Let's mm, let's see if we can bring back Halak. Pretty sure he's a fan favorite. Two years, 
732, that, that seems doable. We'll bring him in. He'll be our backup, maybe even our starter at this point. Bill Kessel, I mean, I do kind of want to bring him just to let that guy's Ironman streak go on. Let's see. He only wants a one year yet. You know what? We'll do that. We'll kind of take a look at the trades as well. See how easy it is to to navigate that. We did do a quick look at the shopping player, but it's not. Let's see if it it, it probably won't let me till tomorrow. I think we end up using up the two. Um, but let's let's see if we can find at least one trade to kind of show you how it's going to work. Um, St. Louis Blues is absolutely. St oh no, that's us. At least now, yeah, it looks it looks better than what it what it was. We have three five star players, or five star potential, and we have two four and a half. Um, Roy, I think we just end up bringing him up as well, right? Yeah, we did bring him up as well, so we're gonna kind of take a look at him in the preseason, and then Kidney as well. We end up bringing up and then New Hook as well. So Kidney might even stay up with us because two star. Two star based on what we're looking at is probably good enough to start for us. And then Rhinebacker as well. Oh, he's 18. So we'll just end up letting him cook for a little bit longer in the OHL. I think he's in the OHL. Yeah, he's in the OHL. Oh no. SL. Alright. Yeah, he's not he's not in the OHL. And then yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll try and get rid of some of our dead wood here. Maya, let's add him here. Yeah, we're offering way too much, obviously. He only has a one-year deal. Let's see if there's any players that we can kind of kind of like a little bit. I don't like how it's not allowing you to like, it's not consistent with uh, being able to see his stats and stuff like that, so it is a little bit annoying having to go into this. Scouting is offensive rating, so it's not really showing any info there. So I guess you have to scout them a bit. Career stats here. I mean, he didn't do that great, but he is a left D. So we do need defensemen. So let's... Which one was it? Was it Birchinger? Yeah, I think it's Birchinger. 12 Storm, yeah. So we'll try and see if we can get him. Hardly like they will step. Okay, let's see what see what we have to do for this. And probably get rid of another two year deal. Maxim legacy. Might need him. Tanner Pearson's on a one year. Um no, we don't want to give up our backup goalie right now. Yolnin? No. Alright, let's give up let's try and give up a let's give up this guy. Hardly like they will accept. Okay, what's it gonna take? Yeah, they want our not gonna happen. Alright, let's give up some shitty right players. It's our rights? Okay. Um Let's give it like the 20 year olds. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think they will accept. Let's see what they do. We'll hit continue for the first time. See how it loads. See how it looks. I mean, so far it does look pretty clean. All right. Price unconditional waivers. Yes. It would be better if you end up accepting kind of like right away. Built Massar, yes. Uh, yeah, we don't want to piss off Matheson. At least not yet. Okay, manager options. Okay. I can delegate all these to my assistants. That's kind of cool, actually. Take over team. 
I don't want to click that. Oh. Okay. Commissioner mode you can do. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, everything looks pretty pretty normal than what it does most years. Market. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'll show the size. Yeah, we're fanatics, obviously. Then our revenue. I, I don't know what's... Um, I don't know if it's going to show um, like the finances the same way that I that like football manager and stuff like that does. Data. Okay, those are all the trophies. It does show that there's a, a tournament, a prospect tournament as well. Okay, I was gonna say clearly we don't have we don't have any players um, in that. Okay, that kind of works. Oh, now everyone's up here. Okay, that's interesting. Wines is probably gonna be the same thing as well. Not enough skaters. Oh yeah, we gotta dress them first. Okay. One, two, three. Go. And then one, two, Harvey. Jake Evans. I remember that guy had a good year. Brian Kidney. I don't know if I, it's going to let me start him, though. Brendan Gallagher. I thought we got rid of. Oh no, we were trying to get rid of Anderson. Got three there. Roughly, this is going to kind of be what it looks like. But you know, Gallagher's at the top with Caulfield and Monaghan. Pinard is with Newhook. That seems weird. Why would he be listed as a grinder? Screener. Power forward, I guess. Wouldn't want him as a third line grinder. That seems kind of uh, kind of sad, actually. Roy is not going to be that as well. I don't really like screeners in the game. At least you get a kind of an understanding. Smith, did I do an extra? Oh, no, I didn't. Philip Massar is a right winger. My bad. Okay, released and paid him for the next six years. Makes sense. I mean, I don't know what I LTIR would have done. I should have probably just left him there, actually. Oh, maybe that's the first mistake that we end up doing in the save. Yeah, we can just leave Weidman to the... Of course, we could have probably done that and it wouldn't have cost us. Oopsie. Well, you live and you learn. I don't know if they end up actually buying him out in the in real life, though. It does seem kind of slick. Everything kind of fits in this. It is a little bit nicer than what it was last year. Last year, you couldn't really see anything. All right, let's see what, what we can do here. Don't want to give up picks. All right, Allard. Pitlick, no. Pitlick actually has potential. All right. Let's see if we can exceed the the five. Let's see if it will let us next time. All right. Not sure that we play anything yet. Oh, so we managed to sign Kessel, so that's good. That's the first CPU trade that I've seen. I don't see... Oh, we did play, okay. And Yaroslav Halak is is now going to be our, our backup 
our backup, or even maybe even our starter at this point. Um. Oh, he's only a two star. I did. Why did it say that he was a three star? All right. Well, that that was kind of pointless. All right. Now let's see if we can do the. Yeah. So we'll show you the shot player thing. We want him for only picks because we don't really care about him. See what people are willing to give for him. No one offers that. Let's see any player. And no one's going to offer anything for that. Okay. So nobody's going to want our terrible goalie. Um, all right. Let's see what if anyone wants Weidman. All right. Well, they're willing to give a fifth for him. Arizona's fifth's probably... No, actually, I'd say Anaheim's fifth's probably better. But yeah, it kind of shows this. It's not too bad. They'd offer us Tenority, who was only 1.5. It does kind of show that. It takes a little bit of getting used to, at least on your eyes. Uh, yeah, pretty much the only people that are going to offer me anything... Yeah, 1.1. 1 .1. So the at least the offer thing is not that bad. Um, hopefully we can um, actually. Anaheim's doing better in real life. Um, I wonder what this does. This is a needs offer. Okay, needs. Okay, so we can kind of look at uh, anything like that. Okay, so this shows. Everyone that matches those needs. Hmm. Look at all the five stars. Actually, it's not that not as much. Seth Jarvis, Jack Quinn, Lucas Raymond, Lawson. I've never heard of that guy. Perot, Bork, Beniers, Pedersen, Byfield, Robbins, Kent Johnson, Eklund, Neighbors, Cider, Chaika. I've never heard of that guy either. Dolan and Owen Power are the only five-star rated players. I don't want Sanderson. I want to see what it, what it would take for that. He's drafted in the second round from them. Never heard of this guy. It's probably one of those things where you don't you don't know. All right, let's see if we can get. Let's see what's going to take for add player. I don't know what I added him to. Oh, cool. Okay, that makes it easy. It'd be cool if they allowed like three player, uh, three team trades though. I feel though they won't. See if they do it for Owen Beck, they they would accept it for Owen Beck. Jake Sanderson is, and oh, he does have a contract though. He does have a big contract, but we don't we don't have a solid defender. I mean, in theory, it it wouldn't be the worst trade to trade Owen Beck, but let's see if we can give up something a little bit less than that. Um, yeah, we'll do. We'll see kidney. Give up a couple new hook as well. Oh, they can't add add that to his. No way. All right, so let's see if we can get it for all our draft picks, or like all not our, all our draft picks, but like all our guys that I don't think are gonna make it. Bear. Built Massar would be the only thing that would. Granted, they would do it for the other guys, so that doesn't really make any sense. Um. Oh, Hootson's supposed to be good, though. In real life, he's supposed to be good. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to want to do anything for it. They would still not even do it for our first. That is insane. That's insane. 
Okay, training's not that bad. R roughly around the same as before. Um, let's see if the scouting is the, kind of the same. Hire as a scout. It's like the first thing we do every single time. But I think it's already green anyway, so it's not... It's not improving right away, which is kind of odd. Yeah, it's all the same. I don't know if it takes a little while for it to, to actually kick in. Ooh, United States is terrible. Bill McGinnis. Okay, so it doesn't... Uh, I don't know if 13 is the cap then. All right, so that that makes it look better, John John Jones. That's an interesting name. Jeff McKenzie as well. We're just gonna kind of load up on all these guys. Anyone that says that they're good or very good, pick. So it, yeah, the scouting is pretty. It looks like it's pretty much the same thing as as last year, at least to, to sign up people. Granted, if the scouts are good, that remains to be seen. I know scouting usually kind of drops off after like the second, or sorry, like the third or fourth draft. Then you just, you're not really getting anyone. All right, we'll just load up on all these. I wonder if Rush actually is going to have anyone good. It's kind of like blind in real life. I don't know what uh it'd be better if they had like specific ones for like good at drafting goalies good at drafting um players yeah see i find as though it would be better better that way very high financial patience okay that doesn't really help at all it'd be better yeah it'd be better if you had specific scouts that scouted specific uh positions in specific regions. I think that this needs an overhaul for next year for sure. Because I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything yeah, different, I guess. Um, free agents, a bunch of on one years. It's, it all kind of looks the same. Hold on. Um, I guess we gotta filter it. Oh no, that one was probably better. The job rating one was a bit better. Um, we don't want a head coach though. But yeah, the filter is pretty much the same. Head coach, assistant, trainer, yeah, assistant coach, scout. Don't really need that. Um, I'm gonna show attributes. That yeah, is okay. Goalie. Kerry Lettinen as an assistant coach. Um, Mike Broder. No, Dan Cluche is who we're gonna grab. We can't we can't grab uh, any any Broders. So yeah, it's it's gonna roughly run work around the same kind of as it did last year. You know what, just just for shits, let's get Wendell Clark. He's gonna probably retire in like two years anyways. Jeff Friesen, yeah, we're gonna grab all the guys that we liked. Valchuk. Kind of Valchuk, Jesus. Kinda yeah, kinda looks the same. So pure Turgeon, I saw that. Or Matt Sundin. Yeah, let's just do that just to piss off all the Leafs guys. He was in Quebec first, guys. Alright, we're gonna kinda try and try and do that we're going to try and wheel and deal a lot of our players so you kind of got like a little bit of a a look at as that um yeah we're going to try and see if we can make our roster look a little bit better than what it does now at least either plan completely to overhaul for the future or kind of try and make it work i guess as is um but 
from the looks of it, just it looks like this is going to be a teardown. But thanks everyone for watching. Until next time.